What's up Salesforce junkies, Alex here from King Cloud Consulting with today's video on integrating Salesforce and Snowflake. This integration will be bi-directional, meaning we will be pulling data from Snowflake into Salesforce and we will be pushing data from Salesforce into Snowflake. Uh, one of the common scenarios our clients face is they have two or more disparate data sources that contain information on the same business object. So for instance, Salesforce may have the primary list of products, names and descriptions and so forth, while maybe a manufacturing software has additional details or metadata about those products, such as the country the products were produced in. Uh, often these metadata are collectively stored in a central data warehouse like Snowflake. Uh, for instance, here in this uh, view of products in Salesforce, you see we have 17 products and currently 16 of them are populated with a product country. Uh, now in Snowflake, we have a table called product country and that has two fields, a product code and, and country. And this table currently has 16 rows serving as the source for those 16 country populated products in Salesforce. But what about the 17th product? Well, that product was just recently added. It's this newest platinum product. And let's pretend that the source manufacturing system now has updated this latest addition into Snowflake. We're going to simulate this addition by running this insert into statement containing the product code of the 17th product. And if we requery the table, we will see that this 17th product country is now present in Snowflake. More importantly, however, this new product metadata in Snowflake automatically updates the Salesforce product data. Now this change may take a few moments, but it does appear in very short order. And what this means is we can in near real time enrich our Salesforce data using the data from a completely unrelated system like Snowflake. Now in this example, we're simply updating one attribute of the data, but in this integration, we can uh, update many attributes simultaneously. We can even delete and update entire rows of data or create new ones, not just for products, but for all objects across Salesforce, both standard and custom. And if we refresh our, our product view in Salesforce now, uh, we'll see exactly this. We'll see a new country code has been appended in Salesforce without even a pinch of manual intervention. Now let's think about the flip side here. Let's push data from Salesforce into Snowflake. Now most commonly we'll build something like this uh, for a data engineering focused engagement, usually arising either from a business need or an IT requirement to store an organization's mission critical data in a centralized data warehouse. Uh, here we'll simply add a brand new product, nothing elaborate. We'll, we'll add a new product record here uh, natively in Salesforce. Uh, you'll notice that our Snowflake data is already representative of the current list. So we have 17 current products. Uh, once again, uh, the data will be written from Salesforce into the target. In this case, the target is Snowflake in near real time. And again, we can apply this to all objects across Salesforce, including updating and deleting records in addition to creating new ones. Uh, now, if we jump back into Snowflake, we requery our products table, and you'll see that this latest product has been added as a new row of data. To wrap up, I'll take a moment to get a bit into the uh, the nitty gritty on the technical side for the nerds who still stuck around this far. Uh, now we can set this integration up using no code middleware like Zapier or Make, uh, or by relying on Salesforce's uh, flows or the flow builder rather to trigger custom coded Apex classes that will write to Snowflake using the REST API. Now the two solutions naturally offer different uh, levels of effort to build and maintain, uh, but both will yield the same result. They both offer a wide array of customization opportunities uh, and the end user experience will be identical in both cases. The important piece to highlight is that this integration can be built without adding to your existing tech stack. Uh, so we've, we bypass the need to really invest in, in new software. That's it for today's Salesforce and Snowflake integration. Drop any comments in the, drop any questions in the comment section uh, or reach out to us directly with the contact being in the description. Take care y'all.